Um, all right, this is our, we're, we're going to play our last song. We want to make sure there's enough time. Um, it's amazing. I just want to say it's amazing um, what, what this venue and, and what, what you're doing here. It's, I, it's, it's probably one of the most special, very special places <laughs> that we could possibly play. And it's, it speaks to what we're all about. And so we just want to thank you again for having us um, at Hump Hall. It's been really, really special. And thank you so much to, I know that a lot goes into having a venue like this and we're really well aware of it. Um, Tanya actually has some house concerts at her house sometimes. Yeah. And this is like a really large scale yeah. version of that. Very um, organized. <laughs> and much more organized. Um, so yours are amazing too. <laughs> but it's it's really special. And um, yeah, just a lot of people have to give their time to, to make something like this happen so thank you so much for, for being part of it and for and also for, for coming and, and being part of that community here um, it really really helps support not just us but all the artists that come here and we watched the little um, all the photos of, and we know a lot of those people of so, our friends. <laughs> our friends. so um, it's, it's a really special thing that you've got here so we're really really happy to be here and and to support it um, yeah so and, our, oh, oh, no, speaking of support we are very grateful to Kimberly Wheeler oh for my gosh, supporting yes. us. <laughs> <laughs> being a trooper and being up here for a really long time <laughs> doing all the things yeah that's right it's, um, a big, it's a big night it's a big night for you so thank you thank you thank we've you we've earned a really good rest i know right <laughs> <laughs> and that cherry ripe that's inside yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just smash some chocolate after this <laughs> okay so this is uh this is your one this is once again um so this is this one is about um when you have a song with someone and then you break up um it kind of ruins the song for you or at least it did for me and, and then it takes a really long time to kind of get back over that you, you kind of go one of two ways you either stop listening to that song completely and it's it, it goes out of the rotation or you, you need some time and then you can kind of gradually come back to it and you have to have some new memories associated with it so that it doesn't sort of sting you and feel yucky and so this this was me listening to to a song 10 years after I, I broke up with someone um, and uh, actually got married to that person for a very very short time a little bit of a mistake at 23 and um and so yeah it was really hard for me to come back to this and it was one of my favorite folk artists if you've ever heard of Ray LaMontagne and so yeah it was the first time that I was and I used to go see him all the time in New York Ray LaMontagne and so it was really quite hard for me to to give that musician musician up but it took some time to yeah to form some new memories around the music and so the first time I listened to it I, I wrote this song because it was it was quite hard um, so this one's called Once Again. There's lots of little Ray LaMontagne references if you're familiar with his music. Um, we just released this one at the beginning of June, actually. So yeah. it's kind of sad. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I just, just plug it. That box is closed. 